Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Today we have some huge news to talk about coming out of the Valorant world. Roster Mania is in full swing as we get ready for the VCT 2023 season. Um, this is now the time where, again, players who are uh, not on Valorant partnered teams like the Optic roster, like Yay from Optic, uh, and like some of these other teams as well, like Xset and some of these other very, very good teams, and even players that are free agents on some of these partnered or franchise teams, uh, they need to figure out what the heck they're doing for 2023. Um, we had a bunch of really awesome and exciting teams, especially in North America last year, and they're getting condensed down to five. And then we might even have some really, really exciting Ascension rosters as well. But uh, we do finally know, at least we have a, a, a roster report of where Yay, one of the biggest free agents, probably the biggest free agent in the world right now, where he is headed for 2023. But we have to start by explaining how we got there. And one of the big pieces of news that came today was this from George Geddes. He said, sort Versus 100 Thieves is sign, er, set to sign an X-Set superstar. The organization is finalizing a deal to acquire Cryo. And this was very, very big because obviously this is a huge pickup for 100 Thieves. X-Set was a very, very good team. Cryo was a huge part of that. George Geddes says, you know, North American organization 100 Thieves is set to sign Cryo. The superstar will join the roster as the first signing for the organization in the current offseason transfer period. Cryo Cells is known as one of the best players in the region with his dominant performance since joining X-Set. Uh, again, this guy uh, is also one of the biggest free agents out there right now. One of the most exciting pieces, especially since X-Set didn't get into uh, franchising in a partnership. He was going to be going somewhere else, and whoever gets him is going to be, um, you know, just just very, very hyped up and excited and instantly a much better roster, which 100 Thieves now is. 100 Thieves is a better team today than they were yesterday. Uh, it's unclear which player will make way for Cryo on the 100 Thieves roster at the time of writing. 100 Thieves, like other teams in the international leagues next year, is required to field six players on its roster with a max of 10. Uh, 100 Thieves uh, inquired regarding Cryo uh, over seven months ago during the acquisition process of former in-game leader Eccles. Uh, at the time, Cryo was under contract with Soar and would later join Xset. So, this, again, just huge news. If you're a 100 Thieves fan, this is a big pickup. You should be hyped up. You should be excited. Yes, it's not yay, but it's still a pretty damn good player, and only one team's going to end up with yay. But what this has to do with the whole yay situation is that people were able to start putting some puzzle pieces together because what we had heard was, one, we knew Ye was not going to Evil Geniuses. We also know yesterday, uh, George Geddes put out like his excitement radar or whatever, uh, and it didn't seem like he was too excited for NRG, which meant, hey, NRG, they're probably not getting Cryo, they're probably not getting Ye, they're probably not getting Tens, they're probably not getting one of these like S-tier free agents or whatever. So, that really narrowed down the scope of teams for Ye to go to between 100 Thieves, Sentinels, uh, and obviously C9. And we also know that Cryo is one of the guys in that mix as well as Tens. Tens, we had heard that, hey, we don't know if he's returning. His contract is expiring with Sentinels. What's going to happen there? Um, is he going to be returning to Sentinels? Or the other name that was being thrown around was 100 Thieves. So, once Cryo goes to 100 Thieves, we can really, really, really lower the chances of uh, Tens going to 100 Thieves, which means he's probably going to be staying at Sentinels, which means overall, Ye will probably be going to Cloud9. And that is a lot of the reasoning that a lot of people have used. Yes, Optic was still, you know, potentially getting offers from the Ascension League uh, for like TSM or G2 or V1 or whoever the heck else, but... Those all seemed very, very unlikely. Obviously, the most likely case was that, hey, Ye was probably going to be going to C9. That was kind of starting to get rumored around Reddit, all this kind of stuff. And finally, we got this tweet from George Geddes. At the time I'm recording this, it was like a half hour ago. Uh, and George Geddes says, Cloud9 is set to form a super team. This is a very, very exciting time to be a Cloud9 fan. Not only uh, did they just win the LCS championship, they went 3-0. They're, they're ready to go on to the League of Legends World Championships as the one seed from North America. Who knows what they're going to be able to do there. But also now on the Valorant side, the other big major esport in the riot ecosystem right now apparently they're set to form a super team the organization is set to sign yay from optic gaming deal set to complete soon obviously c9 valorant chimes in here with a source and then george Geddes says that he made it up uh you know some people are like hey super teams don't always work send news all this other stuff but this is very very big the fact that uh he is breaking the news of c9 yay an absolutely massive pickup you know we're, we're going to continue without disabling our ad blocker but valorant's next super team is here as cloud Cloud9 lays the groundwork with Ye from George Geddes. Like I said, North American Org C9 is set to acquire the best Valorant player in the world. Uh, obviously debatable if you do think he's the best player in the world or whatever, but George Geddes, you know, getting his opinion in there. The deal, which will likely be completed soon, will see Jacob Ye Whitaker join some of the best players in North America, such as Leaf, Zipa. Uh, the team will also be led by in-game leader Vanity. 
Ye solidified himself as the best player in the world following his consistent performances at the top of the scoreboard during his tenure with Optic. Obviously, they uh, won a major title. I believe they got second place in the in the most recent one, um, Valorant Masters. Um, they have been a very, very strong team. 2022 was really the year of Optic in a lot of ways. Yes, it would have been much better if they did uh, end that season with the uh, Valorant Masters title, or, or champions, not Masters, the Valorant champions title, but uh, still a, a very, very good run overall. Uh, at Valorant Champions, which concluded earlier this month, Ye had the second highest average combat score and the highest kills per round, according to VLR.gg. His future was uncertain following Optic's attempt to secure a partnership with developer Riot Games for the Americas League. Uh, C9, however, was one of the few teams to secure a partnership with Riot. Again, there's only like five NA teams, so everyone at least had a pretty decent shot at getting Ye or at least talking to him, uh, you know, and, and making some talk with him or whatever. Um, Ye will leave behind his Optic legacy to join C9 with Optic. He won VCT Masters in Reykjavik, Iceland uh, in April and earned several second place finishes at Champions Optic were defeated by Loud in the grand final. Obviously, the Brazilian team that ended up winning the championship. Uh, C9 benched Curry and Mitch uh, on September 22nd, which left two spots open on his roster. Both players are going to be exploring their options as restricted free agents. The VCT 2023 season is set to begin in February of 2023 with this kickoff tournament. And apparently Cloud9 is going to be bringing a very damn good team to this kickoff tournament. This is very, very exciting. Again, it has been very fun to watch, uh, you know, yay watch or whatever. And there's been all the different rumors, all the different speculation of him going to all these different teams. He got the $1 million offer from APAC. He was, um, you know, fielding interest from some EMEA teams. He was maybe going to go to Ascension, maybe going to go to this team that team whatever um but you do now see how all the dominoes start dropping and how once one domino falls once cryo ends up 100 thieves um you really start to see this other stuff set in motion now um was cryo actually the first one to sign or is he just the first one who gets announced we don't know for sure um but once the big dominoes start dropping so now if we do know that cryo is going 100 thieves we can i think assume sentinels uh tens is going to still be a thing uh or Tens is maybe just going to be done altogether, retire, something like that. Who knows? Go to a full-time content creation. Uh, and with, with Ye at C9, you kind of have, you know, the, the three stars aligned on their three top teams. Um, also kind of a big hit to EG and NRG, obviously, being left out of, like, the, the real super, super, superstar players. Um, but now I think we'll start to bump down and see really that next echelon of players start to fill in the gaps on these rosters, start to really round out these teams. Um, obviously, George Geddes believes C9 is set to have a super team, but, hey, they still need to fill in, um, you know, who's going to be the fifth guy on this roster to to really solidify themselves as a team because this is a team game. It's a very, very strategical team game. You're only uh, as strong as all, all your pieces together. You're not just simply as strong as your best player because, again, if Ye was the best player in the world, then, hey, Optic would have won everything. They definitely didn't do that. They did come up short at some point. So, uh, I don't know. Very, very exciting time to be a C9 fan. Like I said, I am glad. It sucks because Roster Mania is really fun with all the rumors and speculation and all that stuff, but it is cool when you actually get some official news as well. Uh, Ye looks to be joining C9. Cryo looks to be going 100 Thieves, um, and we'll see what happens happens next but i'm gonna be here covering it all for you guys this is the place to be um so definitely drop a like if you guys did enjoy this video i would appreciate that so so much leave a comment down below let me know what you think about uh yay joining c9 what you think about the c9 team i'd love to hear you guys thoughts and opinions subscribe stay up to date on my latest content hopefully catch you guys in the next one but until then peace